the talking points begin. Yeah, the first, uh, that Dr. Medford dude. Yep. Uh, what'd you think of him having no bedside manner? He further traumatized that girl. I'm like, oh yeah, let's, 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 let's uh, stick some uh, acid fumes in her nose and see what that does to her. She's asleep. Yeah, now, we could ask permission. I'm pretty but sure her dad's yeah. dead and she's comatose. So let's just do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will reactivate that that reminder of that horrible event that just happened and have no lasting psychological effects whatsoever. None. So let's just do that. Yeah, he um he was interesting. It was weird because he used to be Santa Claus in another movie. Oh yeah, I think I saw that on Google when I was looking stuff up. Yes. Uh, also, did you get the fear? When his daughter said, he isn't a young man, he shouldn't have come on this trip. I had flashbacks to the last movie where that old man died. Did you think this guy was going to die too? No, but then again, considering his bedside manner, I might not have been dreading it if it had come. <laughs> nice. Oh, and I I had one thing about uh, the cyanide gas. It's I feel bad about pointing this out, but cyanide doesn't work on ants. Because they don't have hemoglobin. Oh. And I know I'm pointing that out about a giant monster movie. What it does is it, it prevents oxygen from detaching. From Anyway, it cyanide just doesn't work on ants because their lungs are different one and they don't have hemoglobin. Gotcha. Again, I, I shouldn't look too much into this. Talk about something so I can be less crazy. 